Hi, my name's Ian Burns and I work for Oracle Team USA, America's Cup team that has won the last two editions of the America's Cup. The first America's Cup was raced in 1851, that's uh, 150 years ago, and the boats didn't change much in the first 130, 140 years. They went about the same speed. They were big, slow and heavy uh, monohulls with a single hull. Now the last two cups have been raced in multi-hulls, in trimarans and catamarans. These boats are dramatically faster. The old boats went about 10 to maybe 12 miles per hour. The new boats get up to over 55 miles per hour. That's faster than you can legally drive on the freeway. The uh, things that dictate how fast a boat will go are all determined about how much it weighs, how much sail area it's got, how big are the sails, and how the boat can support the sails and stop the sails from being blown over. And so the trimaran or catamaran allows you to have a very lightweight boat that's very stable, very hard to tip over, which allows you to have big sails that make them go really fast. There's a, a world record for how fast a, a boat can sail and it uh, progresses all the time because um, the barriers are kind of soft. The, uh, the things that we bump into can be always uh, improved upon with better materials, better science. And so we uh, are always looking at ways to improve the performance of the boat. And there's really no feasible limit if you can make the boat more and more efficient, make it work better, it'll go faster and faster. Over the years, uh, a lot of testing techniques have relied upon experiments where people would build a model of the boat, sometimes quite big, and they'd tow it through a big tank of water and measure how much drag it had, how hard it was to pull through the water. Similarly, people would go into a wind tunnel, which is like a big cave with wind blowing through and measure how much force the sails generate to push the boat forward. These experimental systems have almost been uh, outdated now. Now we use computers all the time with giant models of uh, little tiny bricks of air or water and how the water flows over the boat or the, or the sails is modelled in these computer programs and it gives you the answers to these questions much more quickly and uh, much less expensive. The America's Cup is always won by the best team and always it's a combination of the sailing team and the design team and the guys who build and maintain the boats. You have to have all of that right to win the America's Cup. We have uh, a number of uh, design guys who make the boat, make sure the boat's strong enough, as, uh, as streamlined and uh, hydrodynamic and aerodynamic as it can be. And so there's a big team in the technical side, but um, there's also uh, a bunch of guys who build the boats who are real scientific uh, boat builders. And these guys are uh, almost like a combination of artists and, uh, and technicians that put together the boats uh, layer by layer of carbon fibre. And these carbon fibre layers are uh, only 0.1 or maybe 0.2 of a millimetre thick and they lay these layers on ply by ply to make the boats in some cases quite thick and, uh, and strong and this is a real uh, art form that our guys I think are the best at in the world. We shop on the pretty much top shelf of materials. These are the things that are used in, uh, in uh, airplanes and uh, the, best of, uh, the best of any sort of sporting equipment. These are the, the really expensive and exotic carbon fibres that uh, are hard to find and they're hard to use but they offer incredible strength and they're very very lightweight which means you can make a boat weigh less and be stronger and stiffer than uh, it would be from other materials. I've always loved technology and I uh, have always applied it to boats ever since I was a, a young kid uh, sailing in a little dinghy. Uh, we we're always looking at ways to rig the boat differently, configure it differently, make it uh, uh, technically superior and um, I think I still love it. The America's Cup is the best place to play that game because we have very expensive toys. We have a great prize at the end if we can do a better job than our competitors and um, there's no limit to what uh, we can do to make the boat go faster, which means there's no limit to what you can think of and actually do on the boat and make it real. The beauty of sailing is that you can uh, have a great deal of fun on any boat, whether it's slow, whether it's fast, whether it's big or small. And um, one of the important things about designing a boat is to make sure that it's fun for the people who use it and uh, just continue on that way. And, uh, and the technicality of doing it 
is fun as well. So there's many sides of sailing, all of which can be enjoyed.